Hi! Welcome to Above Ruby Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute name plaques or you can make home decor signs or any little message you would like to say using some wood that I bought at a craft store. You can buy them in all different sizes, pre-cut and fun shapes and all different things. And today I'm going to do a little name plaque for my daughter Genevieve. I cut out some vinyl in chocolate brown using the Plantain School Book and home decor cartridges. And I have already made them the way I want them to be. I'm setting them aside. I'm going to use some folk art paint by plaid. It's acrylic paint. It's called Turner Pink. This color I have not even opened yet, but it just looks absolutely perfect by the little, judging by the little dot on the top. I think that this color is going to be great in her room with the chocolate brown because you know me with pink and brown. Of course, the baby's room is, well, Benson and Genevieve share a room. So it's green pink and brown with polka dots, my thing, completely. So I'm just going to start by painting this using a sponge brush. I'm dabbling my glue right, my glue, my paint right on the top there. And I'm just going to paint it on. Ooh, I can already tell I'm going to love this color. If there are a lot of boogers in your wood from when you first buy it, you can always sand it down. I didn't really have too many issues with anything that was going on with this particular piece of wood. There is a little something right there, but I figured that my design's going to cover it well enough. I'm not going to pull out sandpaper for that just tiny little thing that didn't really seem to bother me. So we're just going to speed through, paint this up, and wait for it to dry. You're probably going to need to do two coats, so just to give you the heads up on that. These little wood blocks you can buy at most local craft stores, this one was 50 cents. They range in price, they range in size, and you can do whatever you want with them. But I'm just going to show you what I do. Okay, so now that my paint's dry and I have a big mess of paint all over my table, it's a lot of fun, I want to take and place my vinyl cutout letters by removing the backing carefully and placing them on my wood where I want them. The wood's pretty dry, so. These are great for baby gifts, baby shower gifts, or birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, any kind of personalized gift you can think of for kids or even, like I said, for home decor, you could put on their happy Thanksgiving or Merry Christmas. You have plenty of options when you do these types of things. Since these vinyl letters are so small, they're going to take a little while for me to peel off. So we'll just peel them off. And I'm going to do sort of a sporadic pattern here with them. Unsure of your placement, you can always just lightly place them down. They will peel up, just don't press them down. And you can wiggle them around and mess with them as you feel desire to do so, which I'm going to actually move my J closer. No, I'm going to move my E a little bit closer to my J. Just peel it up carefully. Just a little bit closer there. And it's pretty sporadic, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use this really cute little dragonfly. I have some of these dragonflies cut out and actually on the wall in my kid's room, right around Genevieve's bed. You could cut out some leaves, like with the Gypsy Wanderings uh, cartridge in the new Gypsy. Or you can find some leaves, some S SVG files of leaves, and cut them out with Sure Cuts a Lot. You can do the same thing with snowmen. You can cut out snowmen with SVGs. They're available for free all over the internet, so you can just get your Sure Cuts a Lot software up and running. 
and go find some really cute different things to cut out there. So there is my Jenna Fleck. Now to finish it off, what I'm going to use is some water-based polyacrylic. It's pr protective finish by Minwax and it works perfect on all of these wood surfaces. It seals your vinyl right to your wood. It also gives it a really pretty glossy finish. This one is actually the clear gloss finish. You can get a matte finish. You can get a satin finish. You can get any kind of finish that you would like to see. I really like the gloss, especially for a personalized name plates or boxes or things along those lines. I've done picture frames and um, the wooden benches that you see, all those different things. So you shake it up really good. And then you can just use, again, one of the sponge brushes. And this takes quite a while to dry, so you're going to want to give it a good amount of time. And you want to make sure you have good, solid coats of your paint, because sometimes it does tend, depending on your acrylic paint color, it will thin it out a little bit, and you can see some of the wood through. So if you don't have a really solid coat of your acrylic paint, color paint down first, you want to watch out to make sure that it's not going to thin out and that you're not going to see your wood through the color. Okay, so you just I wouldn't recommend touching up your paint over top of this. This is a sealer. So if you try to paint your pink back on top of your sealer, it's going to look really goofy. So try to keep a thick, completely dry coat before you use this on your wood. Okay. And there it is. My very shiny, very pink and brown Genevieve name plate. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. Visit AboveRubyStudio.com very soon for a lot more fun and more crafting. Thanks for watching. Bye.